Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, Winner and Trade, picking up where we left off last time, where we pretty much did nothing besides uh, dealing with population, economy, and development stuff in the previous episode, which I practically doubled my population and the economy, and pretty much maxed out my development for all the provinces that really matter, really. With an exception to all of this down here in the deserts, considering how you can develop land in deserts. Um, yeah. One thing about population that I did not actually mention in the previous video is you can kind of easily tell what I control compared to the rest of the country now, because just how much of a difference there is in population. Yeah. Ah, so development. But that is what I did in the previous video. And yeah. Sweden. I want the rest of um rest of France over here now. So I'd like you to give it to me right quick. Why not? that island from Denmark as well. Oh? Wow. Already at war with Iraq. And you don't accept that ultimatum? Sure. Back. There we go. Back over here. Attack that province, which we don't think has a fortification. Actually, it does. Okay. Great. Whatever. I like to avoid fortifications so I don't lose as many troops, but that's um, sometimes it's kind of impossible to do. Because the AI decides to build them on all the provinces they have in certain areas. There we go. Got what I want there. Now I'll quickly deal with province ability. Get the troops over here. Guys, Poland and Denmark are next. Which I'll wait for something to happen over here with the war that they have between them. So, going on between them. Let's see. Okay, Poland's got their lands back there. Good. So, that's bug again. Great. Well, I'm going to have to go to war with both of them then. Because I cannot send ultimatums. Oh, so my mouse is trying to die on me again. I swear, you know, this is like the third or fourth time I mouse has started dying on me. But it hasn't actually died yet.
Come on. There we go. Okay, move those troops for that direction, good. And that is Poland's dealt with. go. Um, no thank you Iceland, I'm going to be taking you over later. And that is Denmark dealt with. And take it, I can't do it for Iceland either. Okay, I'm going to have to go towards Iceland as well. Great. That's just great. So, I guess I'll recruit some more troops so I can send that away. Making sure I recruited troops in all those provinces. Good. Normally the troops down here in Egypt that I'm recruiting I think will actually just stay down there to deal with Iraq later. There we go. Let's see how large my army is now. Okay, just recruited half a million troops, that's all. Okay, sure. So, all the troops over here in Britain will head to London. There we go. And the rest of these troops here will group up right there.
And all these troops will just go to Cairo. There we go. I'll just leave those there. Now, these troops head over to Iceland. So, now, go towards Iceland. There we go. Good. Now, over here in Greenland, which all have fortifications for these provinces. Great. There we go, all that is done. There we go. And that's done. Nice. Okay. Just demand all these provinces manually so I don't have to scroll through this long list over here. To demand them all. There we go. There we go. That is done. So I dealt with those four that I wanted to deal with. Okay. 
I'll just send those troops there for right now. These troops will line up right here. There we go. Actually, I may send a few more for that island, considering what the population is on it. There we go. Now, right here, I will put 40,000. And the rest will just go right there. Line my troops on Italy once again. And send some more over here for Russia. Okay, let all the troops line up, and then I'll go back and see what I need to do next here. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wait, where was I? Uh, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen provinces along there. Okay. So that's a hundred thirty thousand troops to recruit to finish that. Nine troops up there. Not that hard. Plus, you only actually have 20,000 right here already. So, 111. There we go. 10,000. Sure.
Okay. Now I have an army of a million troops. Great. And once again, I'll send all these troops to London. There we go. Now the troops in London once again. I know I sent 20,000 there, which will make that 30,000. That's mainly because I need this group to more or less continue pushing all the way along that way. All the rest of these will be closing in and finishing that area off. So. For the rest of this army. Let's see. Hmm. Fifty thousand there, I guess. And The rest can go right there. Now I will see about doing something with the troops down here in Egypt as well. I can recruit more troops in those two provinces than what the population of that province is. Jeez. There we go. So now it's just to let all of these troops line up over here and I will be done. There we go. So, if you haven't actually realized at this point, I am planning on going a bit crazy starting in the next episode. Considering I have all my troops lined up against Russia to fight them, 
and Italy, and I guess you can also count Iraq. So yes, I will be going absolutely crazy in the next episode. But that there is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.